Come on, lift your voice. Asuze brande kapata, rebenda balado shede gede gede. Ika papa rando sabande kaya, lebrendo. Kapato shede gede, ira babanda kapato shede brenda kaya. Esa brande kosh. Come on, lift your voice wherever you are. Maredo shamande kapaya dea. Asabri ni kupilita imande. Araban de kosha barada, masabra de kosha baragada. Ira kapato shebere kosa manda, ira kapato shata balata. Come, 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 Holy Ghost, come. Come, 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 Holy Ghost, come. Holy Ghost, come, come, oh, come. Holy Ghost, come. Come, oh, come, Holy Ghost, come, 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 come, oh, come, Holy Ghost. Come, come, Holy Ghost, come, 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 come, Holy Ghost, come, come, oh, come, eh. Holy Ghost, come, come, oh, come. Holy Ghost, come, come, oh, come. Emi mi ma emi awo holi. Iwa kuku la bara mi, emi mi ma she, emi mi ma she. Emi awo holi, iwo kuku la bara. Emi mi mo eche, emi mi mo eche o. Emi awo holi, iwo kuku la bara. Emi mi mo eche, emi mi mo eche. Emi awo holi, iwo kuku la bara. Emi mi mo eche, emi mi mo. Emi awo li, iwa kuku la bara. Emi mi mo eche. Spirit, thou art come in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art come in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. 
I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, 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 I know you are here. Healing every sickness, I know you are here. Turning things around, I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. Healing every sickness, I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. Precious Holy
Just be on your seat wherever you are. Wherever you are, where you are seated, can you just say a word of prayer and say, Lord, today, do not let me go back the same. We have not been able to solidify our experiences in God. We've not been able to make substance and solidify our thoughts about God. So, you see, believers are one of the most people who get depressed. And they are not the ones who ought to because they do not have the spirit of depression. But they do because how can you say to me that God is good and it doesn't reflect in my life? I am one person who is very particular about the reflection of God's grace. And that is why one of my favorite songs is daily as I live, often as I breathe. May my whole life be an expression of your grace. And sometimes we sing the song and the first thing that comes to our mind is character. And that is very true. But it is not just the character. We're also talking about the expressions of God's grace in different diverse forms. That means, back in school, we would say that if you say that God is good, then your results should show it. I cannot be standing with somebody who says God is not good, and we are both looking at our results, and I'm shouting, A, hey, while the person is shouting, ah, oh, whoa. Do you know the difference, right? Do you know the difference between whoa and ah, A? I should not be the one shouting. And so I would try as much as possible to ensure that in my, in my attending of fellowship, I attend classes. In everything I do, I would try as much as possible to ensure that my result gives glory to Christ, to God. So that when they look at me, they don't say, if, that people would not see me in future doing ministry and think that I'm doing ministry because I failed in my academics. Or think that I'm doing ministry because there was something else I could not do. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's a way you can bring shame to the ministry of God. When it seems like you cannot talk fluent, you cannot speak fluently, you cannot give a certificate that shows that this person went to school and they went well. <laughs> they didn't just pass through school, school passed through them. So may my whole life be an expression of your grace. Everything about me, from my academics to my marital life, to my finances, to everything that has to do with me. Let it be an expression of your grace. And so the next question is, how then do we convert the word of God, the prophecies of God, the promises of God into experiences that are particular to us? How do we convert these things into experiences? So many believers are tempted to think that God is not true. Meanwhile, we just haven't gotten the key. We just haven't been able to to have proper understanding of how to hold on to God's word. And that is what we are going to be talking about today. Somebody say Lambano. Come on, say it like someone who has authority in Christ. Erabashataya. You are making that word sound to... Can somebody say Lambano? Are we excited in the house today? You should be excited. Somebody say Lambano. Mashatakapayarabashataya. What is Lambano? Lambano means to lay old. It's a very simple sermon today. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Lambano means to lay old. To take old. To seize. 
to become possessive of what belongs to us to become possessive of what has been provided that is what lambano means in luke chapter 4 jesus began to read says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty please when i re um, call a scripture somebody should be as fast just opening i may need somebody to help amen the spirit of the lord is upon me has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and then verse 20 scripture says and he closed the book what happens to our lives when the book is closed What happens to our lives when the book is closed? I'll tell you what happened with Jesus. Scripture says in verse 20, And then he closed the book, and he gave it back to the attendant, and he sat down. But the next thing that happened is that all eyes of all who were in the synagogue were affixed, were fixed on him. 21 said, and he began. So when he closed the book, every attention was to him. How many of us can garner such attention after the book has been closed? Or the only thing that is about our lives is that the book is open. The day we close this book, what is there to see about us? And so they began to look at him. And 21, he said, and uh, 21 says, and he began to say to them, today, somebody say today. Somebody say today. I don't know about you, but for me, it is today. Today, this scripture is being fulfilled in your hearing. And was it fulfilled? And so like our man of God said last week, I would like to take it from there. We've been doing a series on the story of Jesus is our story. And he said something intriguing. You know, how that Jesus had to personalize in Luke chapter 4, which we just read now, the scripture in Isaiah chapter 61. Why? Because he found his place in the scriptures. Because he found what belonged to him. The word contains three things as regards the experiences of Christ and our realities in the kingdom. Three things. Number one is the sacrifices of Christ. What Christ has done for us. Number two is the blessings of Christ. What Christ has given to us. And number three is the formation of Christ. Who Christ has made us to become three realities of the of Christ experiences of Christ and the realities in our lives the sacrifices of Christ and this is we just finished the Easter period and we'll be looking at, at the sacrifices of Christ on the cross and the blessings of Christ the formation of Christ who he has made us the scripture contains what we have what we can and who we are this is what the scripture contains. What we have, what we can, and who we have. And so like our man of God mentioned last week, any scripture you cannot find yourself in cannot work for you. Any scripture you cannot find yourself in cannot do what? Cannot work for you. Until you identify yourself in the pages of the scripture, the scripture will not have any impact on your life. That it is in the Bible does not guarantee that it is in your life until it is received that it is contained in the bible does not guarantee it says this day has the scripture been fulfilled so you don't need to look at the scripture anymore to see that if you're not able to read the scripture all you need to do is to look at me there's a fulfillment of the scripture in my life and he said this day has it been fulfilled so that is in the bible does not mean that it would reflect in your life until it is received all that Jesus did on the cross, has dealt with on the cross, has given to us, has made us to become, may continue happening to you until you have received them. And that word, received, that word received in the language of the scripture is called lambano. It's called lambano. It's called lambano. The blessings of the Lord, the sacrifices of the Lord, the formation of the Lord, all of these things, we will be remain the way we are if we don't receive 
who the Lord has made us to become. We will stay where we are until we receive where God is taking us to or has taken us to. We will have what we have until we receive what God has given to us. Lambano. And so Paul came to the, ch the Ephesus in Acts chapter 19. Let's open to Acts chapter 19. Paul came to Ephesus in Acts chapter 19. We read from verse 2. He asked them a very interesting question. A very interesting question. He said to them, Have you received? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Like I said, every time or most of the times you see the word received in your Bible, that word is called lambano. And I will tell you the difference between this receive and the other kinds of receive in the Bible. Praise God. So he came to them in Acts chapter 19 and he said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And the people said, ah, <laughs> we don't even, we didn't even know that there was anything called the Holy Ghost. This scripture is going to be taking us far today. It says, we didn't even know that there was anything called the Holy Ghost. Have you received? We would come back to, we didn't even know. We didn't even know. But have you noticed that Paul did not ask them that have the Holy, Holy Ghost been given to you? He didn't say, have the Holy Ghost been given to you? He said, have you received it? Because if it's about giving, it has been given to you. It has been given to you, but have you lambanoed it? Have you lambanoed the Holy Ghost since you believe? And they said, we did not know. We did not know. So Paul was saying, have you laid hold of what is yours? Have you laid hold of what is yours? Let me explain a little thing about Lambano. You know the word Lambano, when we look at receive in the scripture, sometimes what we think of is like, you know, a very passive way of, when I hold my phone and a text message comes into my phone, I can tell you that I received a text message. True or true? I received a text message, but in the world it's called Dekumaya. That, is, that means that I did not have any active participation. I just sat and then there was a text message on my phone. Are you getting what I'm saying? There was a text message on my phone. So there was no active participation between me and the sender rather than opening it. But there is a receiving in the scripture that when the scripture mentions it, it's not talking about Jeremiah. It's not talking about just sitting down and letting it come. It is that I stretch forth my hand and I'm giving you this thing and you have to stand up and take it. You have to stand up and receive it. So stretch up, stretch something to me. So when you stretch something to me and I walk, this place, this is what is called walks faith without work is dead. This is the work. The Lord does not want us to do any extra thing than to lambano what he has given to us. That is why he says that the gift of see, the gift of God, every of these things is by grace. It is for free, but we need to lambano. So you stretch it, give it, stretch it out. And then if I am here, I would come and I would stretch forth my hand and I hold it. And when I take hold of it, there is another part of Lambano where it means that when I take hold of it, I am holding it so much so that no matter what happens, I am holding it. My grip is hard on it. My grip is hard on it. We are coming somewhere, but are you following? Lambano. Lambano. Somebody say Lambano. You, will, you, will don't, you, don't, you, you cannot get tired of saying it. Come on, say Lambano. Lambano. To take, to lay hold. To lay hold. To lay hold. And this is what Paul did. In verse 6. Look at verse 6. And when he was, when he asked them, and they didn't, they said, we didn't even know. So he began to teach them. He began to teach them what to do. He began to teach them. He began to tell them that, see, the baptism which you were baptized into, there is another baptism. Remember John said it. He prophesied that there is someone who would come who will baptize you with Holy Ghost and with fire. And he began to teach them. And when he was done, verse 6 says, and he laid, I want you to look at your scripture. What does verse 6 say? 
Come on, come on. Are we Bible students here? Yeah. And he did what? He laid his hands upon them. Now, this is what Paul did. Please come. Please come. I'm going to be doing a lot of illustrations today, so I would just need you to stand by. So this is Paul. This is the church of Ephesus. And then this is, this is, <laughs> okay, this is the Holy Ghost. And this is Paul. And this is the church of Ephesus. So Paul comes to Ephesus and he says, have you lambanoed? And they said, we did not even know. We did not even know. So he began to teach them. And in the process, give me something. Give me something. Just hold anything. And in the process of teaching them, he's teaching them. I, I felt like the teaching was not entering. And so he said, you know what? Take it. Do you understand? Take it. So he collected it. So when this is what happens when we lay, when we lay hands on people, is that this thing, it doesn't mean that you do not have access to it, but it seems you are delayed to lambano. So since I can lambano, I lambano. And then I give it to you and I say, take it. So what you are now doing when you receive it is that you are decomying. Do you understand? So I seize it from here secret to unlocking possibilities in Christ so in prayer we are not trying to beg God for something we are lambanoing I think I, I tell you this is going to help your prayer life today we are not going there to say we are not begging we are not begging because you know you are begging a father who has given you all things he said he has given us all things pertaining to life and godliness all things all things he did not reserve some he has given us all things and so when we go to the place of prayer we're going to a place of prayer to seize it to receive what the lord has given to us and it is in this with this understanding that when you come to a place of prayer it is no longer about the lengthiness of your prayer but it is about capacity you get to the place where you know trust me in some context especially when we talk about building building you know capacity when we talk about when we talk about intercession there are times when we just need to make long prayers but there is a place when you understand lambano your prayer life is no longer about how long you are staying two people can be in the place of prayer one person is wasting time one person is not taking as much as the other person is taking because the other person has space he has space. He has space. So your prayer life becomes a thing of how much you can collect, not how much you can spend. So you can spend 30 minutes and you come out full and roaming like a lion. And you can spend one hour and you come out depressed. Have you never? Have you never? You said uh, you went to, to, to pray. And then you finished praying. You finished praying. You came back. Uh, like somebody who has been defeated. It's because you didn't go to Lembano. If you went to Lembano, even 30 minutes in prayer, when you were done, you were coming back full because you went with enough container and your container is full. And your container is full. So Lembano helps you see the word. Lembano solidifies the word of God. Lambano solidifies the word of God. It makes it take, 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 take an undulable shape, an undulable manner. That means it has capacity to be undoed. That means it has capacity to be undoed. First John chapter one verse one says, it says that which was from the beginning which are which what which we have heard which our eyes which we have seen with our eyes which are which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and undoed undoed our hands have undoed of the word of life that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have heard so the first step to our spiritual journey the beginning of every spiritual journey is hearing, which we have hear heard. And that's why it says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now follow me. Follow me. I'm going somewhere. It says faith cometh by what? By hearing and hearing what? By the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now the question is faith cometh. After coming, what next? Anybody ever wondered that? Faith comes. It comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. So after you have heard, what happens? Faith, hearing steers faith in you. Hearing steers faith in you. But hearing alone does not bring the need. 
needed results. Having tears faith in you, it comes. So when you hear the word of God, faith comes. Are you getting what I'm saying? But having alone does not bring the necessary results for your life. That is why he moved further. After saying that which we have heard. And then he said that which we have seen with our eyes. That we have seen with our eyes. You must see what you have heard. You must see what you have heard. What you have heard. You must see what you have heard. What you see. What you see in the world is what you would see in your life. Many of us have heard the word. Many of us have heard prophecies. We have heard promises. We have heard all of these things. But it has not worked in our life because we, have, we did not press further to ensuring that we translated, we translated it from our ears to our sight. It didn't, we didn't press further to ensure that we translated it, that we converted it from what to picture. So he says, that which we have seen with our eyes, you can see. You can see with your eyes. You can see with your eyes the things that you have heard. The word that you have been hearing, the prophecies that you have been hearing, all of the things that you have been hearing, you can see them with your eyes. If I say to everyone to close their eyes right now and see your bedroom, you would see it. Can you do that? Are you seeing? You don't even need to close your eyes. Just see your bedroom. Immediately I said it, you saw it. And even if I say, okay, everybody. Now this is the trick. Let me tell you now, everybody. Don't see your pot of food. Did you see it? The brain does not work with don't. That is why negativity cannot stop us. Because even if I tell you don't see, so long as there is a seed there, your brain can still process it. Negativity cannot stop us. That is how it cannot happen. It, it, it's not something that is relatable in your life. So if, if I said, see, see your pot of food now. You can see your pot of food. I you don't have food at home, but it's fine. You can, you, can, you can see it. Our imaginations are powerful. It is a tool by which we can use to see the word. It is a powerful tool, and that's why the devil is very particular about it. And that's why even if you don't use it, you see that the devil will make sure that you use it. So you cannot see yourself supervising your building project. You can't see yourself uh, 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 being called out as the best graduating student and you are addressing the entire people. You can't see yourself, you can't see yourself driving, you know, the, your, your car. You can't see yourself doing those things. But you can see yourself eh, going to the library and as you carry, as you carry the, the book, the book now fell. Then a guy now quickly rushed to pick the book. Then there's now a, an invisible pianist playing in the background. And then you are raising your head. You're raising your head little by little. And then your eyes clash. Then you look at each other and you fall in love. You can see those things. You, can't you see them? You can see them. You can see a guy and see him marrying you. Like you have wedded with him. You have, you have wedded with him. He's just dates. That is remaining. So whether you use it or not, the devil will use it for you. Somebody said, your mates are catching flights. You are catching feelings. <laughs> your mates are catching flights. You are catching feelings. No flights to catch. Just feelings. Catch it here. You catch it here. You've never been to an airport. I'm sorry. Imagining vain things. That's what it meant. And when people begin to imagine vain things. Praise God. So sight is the foundation for experiencing the impossible in God. Sight is the foundation to experiencing the impossible in God. Many of us are very lazy. Our inner minds are, are lazy. That's why I say of us. Right? Whatever it is that we do not have on the peripheral, we do not see on the peripheral, we don't bother to look beyond. We don't bother to look beyond. We don't want to strain. We don't want to look beyond. But then the ability, your ability to play the picture of God's word, taking form in your life, 
is very key. It says that which we have seen. That which we have seen. If you must lay hold, you must see. If you must lambano, you must see. This is why we have to go through this route. If you must do what? If you must lambano, which means if you must do what? If you must lay hold, what will happen? You must see. You must see. Let's say he's blindfolded now. And I want to give him something. Just close your eyes. He's blindfolded. He can't see. He can't see. And then I say, take. Take. Take it. Take it. Take. Take. This is what happens to many of us in the place of prayer. That's what happens. Apostle James was trying to tell us, he said, you do not, you, you ask and you do not receive. Why? Because you pray and miss. Praying and miss is that you are missing the targets. Your eyes is not seeing it. Because you need to see what you are receiving. So many of us, we go to the place of prayer and we're like, God, I pray for my finances. He says, take it. I pray for my, he says, take it. We are praying and miss. Because, because we cannot see. Because we cannot see what he's giving to us or what he has given to us. We cannot see. So in order to lambano, we need to see. Some of us, the prayer that we pray is a gamble. We go, we go into our rooms to gamble. When you pray without sight, you are gambling. You are not sure about what you are praying for. You are not sure about what you are trying to receive. There's no picture in your mind. Are you getting what I'm saying? Is anybody following here? There's no picture in your mind about what you, what you want to receive. And so you miss the target. You don't know the direction of where your blessing is. Can you, in one minute, just say, Lord, open my eyes to see. Lord, open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. I receive sight. Say, Lord, I receive sight. I receive sight, 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 the power of sight. I receive sight. Come on, we are receiving things here. We are receiving things here. Say, Lord, I lambano sight. I lambano sight. I take hold of sight. I take hold of sight. Ah. I don't know if you know how important that is. If you know how important this is, you would pray. I don't want to pray and miss. I don't want to pray. I don't want to pray like I'm a beggar. Allah <laughs> Bamusa. I don't want to I don't want to pray without a picture. I receive sight. Hey, I don't shando compra the case. Open my eyes to see. Open my ears. Holy Spirit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Holy Spirit. Come on, come on, come on. Open my eyes to see. Open my ears to hear. Holy Spirit. Arama mama mama baba. Holy Spirit. Ah. Era papa paya. Ah. Era ne koshanda raba baba shata. Shata raba kambe ne kedo shata. Kada 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 kada. Shanda rebega do, shanda rebega do, shanda rebega do. And then he went further and said, "He said that which we, which was from the beginning, right? That which we have seen, we we have heard." That which so we we have moved from hearing to seeing 
now right we have moved from hearing to seeing and then now he now went further to say that which we have looked upon and if you are a very inquisitive person like me you would ask why is there a look upon after a scene he says that which we have seen and then he said that which we have looked upon what is what is the difference between seeing and looking upon that which we have looked upon it's the same word that was used in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 looking up to Jesus looking on to Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith looking looking it's the same word that was used in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 when it was explaining how that we behold as we behold we are being transformed we are beginning to take form amongst many other words it's the same word that was used in 2 Corinthians 3 verse, chapter 4 verse 18 he says for the Arab Ashata, we look not on the things which are seen but the things which are unseen for the things which are seen are temporal and the things which are unseen are eternal it is the same word that it, if you are if you understand that scripture for we look not on the things which are seen but the things which are unseen for the things which are seen are eternal are, are, are temporal if you understand that scripture you will know that the writer was not suggesting that we become blind to the things around us he knows that there is he knows that we cannot avoid seeing the things around us so he says you can see but don't look why we do what look not so you would understand that looking is deeper than seeing looking fixing your gaze i can see the things around me but i don't look at it I can see that there is no ring on my finger, but I don't look at it. I can see my bank account, but I don't look at it. So, every believer have to, ought to have two realities. There is what you are saying, and there is what you are looking. There is what you are saying, and then there is what you are looking at. And then this is where my question goes. What are you seeing and what are you looking at? Because many of us live by what we see. Many of us look at the things which are seen. But it says we do not look at the things which are seen. So what are you seeing and what are you looking at? Are you getting what I'm saying? Because you might open your account right now and there's just like 50,000, 100,000 there are in it. 20,000. For some persons, to Naira. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, say praise God. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? When the debit alert comes, do you see it? Or when it comes, it transforms to credit alert. You see it, but do you look at it? Do you look at it? You don't look at it because you know that that is not what will feed you. You've had that two naira for the past few months now in your account, but you are well and healthy. But you are well and healthy. You've had that two naira in your account now for months, and you are still fine. You still came to the encounter today. Doesn't that tell you that there is something else to look at? That there is something else to look at beyond what you see? He says, that which we look upon what we gaze intensely gaze at and then it goes further to then say that which we have undoed somebody say undo come on say undo that which our ends have undoed of the word of life that which our ends have undoed of the word of life you don't lose sight until you have undoed it. And this is our major focus today. Handling, lay hold, undo. You don't lose sight until you have undoed it. You must ensure that everything becomes tangible for you. Until you have received it. Until you have lambanoed it. You don't lose sight. You keep looking at it. You keep looking at it. You keep looking at it until it becomes tangible. It becomes tangible. It becomes tangible. 
if you are looking if you if 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 if, if there is if there is a, a 20000 naira account that you are seeing and then there's a there's a 2 million naira 20 million naira account that you are looking at you don't stop looking until you have handled it what does that mean until there is a 20 million naira in your hands don't stop looking a lot of us have lost sight we have stopped looking just because we get seen. We have stopped looking just because we get seen. This is going to be an encouragement to somebody. This is going to be whatever it's going to be to you. But you would receive whatever the Lord wants you to receive today. Say, I won't lose sight. Say it. Say, I won't lose sight. I won't lose sight. I won't lose sight until I have undoed it until I am that woman until I am that woman that I have been looking at until I have become tangibly that woman the woman is no longer in my sight the woman is now in the sight of men until it is now on the, in the sight of men people can now see that woman I have been seeing hey Ababash do you understand? Until people can now see the woman that I have been seeing. Until people can now see the man that you have been seeing. You must not lose sight. Now who give up lose? Now who give up lose? I don't know who this word is for right now. Now who give up lose? You cannot lose sight of it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Lay hold of it. Lay hold of it. In in Christ. Now what do you lambano and how? I would merge them together. What do you lambano? What do you lay hold of and how do you do that? What do you lambano and how? According to the scriptures, number one, you lambano prophecies. Until I see your face, until I overflow, until I see your face, until I overflow. My worship will not end, my prayer will not stop. My worship will not end. My prayers will not stop. I, 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 until I see your face. Until I overflow. Until I overflow. Until I see your face. Until I overflow. Until I overflow. My worship will. My worship will not. My prayers will not stop. I will have it till I receive. My worship will not. I will lambano until I clip it. I, 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 I. Open up, spirit of the deep. We are going to pray. Open up, open up. Are you realms of glory? <laughs> I like that part. Open up. Oh, if you insist enough, there will be an opening. Open up, spirit of the deep. Open up, open up. Are you realms of glory? Until I undo your word, until I overflow, until I lay hold of your word, until there's an overflow. My singing will not end, and my prayers will not stop. My worship will not end. My prayers will not stop. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Eshata kapa doko borotaya. His cafe ne prendo sadada. Zayeno sute parando kobranda ya. 
Until all that Jesus did for me on the cross of Calvary, He's showing in my life there is a reflection of healing in my life. There is a reflection of sound out. There is a reflection that when they look at me, they will understand why Jesus said it is finished. They will understand why Jesus said it is finished. Until then, I, 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 we lambano, we lambano, we lambano, we lambano. I am tired of doing Easter every year and there is no proof of Easter in my life. What is that? What is that? You lambano prophecies. Come on, keep it low. You lambano prophecies. So prophecy is both a how and a what. So you... you Prophecy is both what you lambano, what you hold on. And prophecy is also the tool in which you hold what you hold on. So, you lambano prophecy. In Acts chapter 19, where we read earlier, who saw that? You know that the coming of the Holy Spirit was first a prophecy. It was first a prophecy. And then, in Acts chapter 2, it had become a reality. But in Acts chapter 19, there were people who have not yet held, they have not yet laid hold of it. In Acts chapter 2, the promise had been made manifest. But in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 10, in Acts chapter 19, it is intriguing to know that there were still people who haven't even heard about the Holy Ghost. And I asked myself, what are those things that have been given to me that I've not even heard about? Could it be that there is something that I have? It has passed 19, 19 minus 2, 17 chapters of my life. And I have still not lambanoed it. Not because there was a gate fee I needed to pay. Should we talk about the Bible? The Bible is a book of prophecies. Is filled with prophecies. There are prophecies that covers up covers for your academics. Scripture says in Proverbs chapter two verse six, it says, "For the Lord gives wisdom, and from His mouth gives knowledge and understanding." Is that not a prophecy? This is to tell you that if you study your books and engage in an higher source, you can receive a kind of understanding that is not normal to other students. But the question is, have you received it? There's a word for your business. It says to every labor there is profit. When you sit down and you're selling and it seems like there is no profit, that's a prophetic word. That's a prophetic word. You say, Lord, in Proverbs 14 verse 23, your word says that to every labor there is profit. I receive profit. <laughs> you know the Lord now? See, people are not coming now. What is happening now? No, I receive it. I receive the prophecy. For your marital destiny, there is a prophecy. In Genesis 2, the Lord himself said, it is not good for a man to be alone. He said, I will send him an helpmate. I will send him an helpmate. I will. I will what? I will send him. I will make for him. So you are not the one to make for yourself an helpmate. It's simple. Lord, where is the helpmate you have made for me? Where's the help meet you have made for me? I received the help meet you have made for me. It's that simple. As a woman, I am an helper. I am an helpmate. I am an helpmate. This is what the word says. I am an helpmate. I am not, I am not frustrated about my home. I am not frustrated about my home. Because the scripture says in Isaiah 54 that my children shall be taught of the Lord. I am not for Aya Kuprete. He said, My children shall be taught of the Lord, and my children will be a source of peace. Of peace. They shall be of peace. I am not frustrated about these things. I will excel. How do you know? Ask me, how do you know? Because I have received it. I have lambanoed. I will prosper. Ask me, how do you know? Because I have lambanoed. I will do well. How do I know? Because I have lambanoed. Because I have lambanoed. 
I am a fruitful vine. This is what will make somebody say, I am a fruitful vine. I, am, I carry a mandate of multiplication. You may not know now because I am not married. But wait till I am married and you will see that I cannot struggle to have children. Why? Because I have eggs in me. I have received them. Ha! Do you know you can receive things in advance? Ever received advance? Ever received payment in advance for a business? Ever received anything? I carry the eggs in me. This is what will make somebody to say, I am a success waiting to go. I am a success. How do they used to put it? I am a success going anywhere to happen. To happen. Give me a mic and give me a Bible on the other hand and I will change the world. Give me a mic and play a keyboard by the background and I will transform a generation. Give me a laptop and make sure that there is light and I will do things that a generation will call my name. Give me a sewing machine and give me a material and I will sew, I will sew apparels for kings. That is what we are talking about. That conviction that comes with when you know that ah, <laughs> I'm laying old. I have laid old. I have laid old. Somebody say I'm laying old tonight. Somebody say, I'm laying old tonight. I'm laying old. I lambano. I lambano. Mashataya kabarata. Meshata kabarata. I lambano. I have received all that I have asked for. All that I have asked for. I receive them. And then in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 8, Paul says to Timothy, he says, this charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Mm. Chai, I wish you were reading that scripture. I, I feel like I'm a bit too excited for, for this for you. <laughs> he says, this, what? First Timothy, are you there? 118. Sorry. It says, This charge I commit unto thee, according, somebody say, according, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Good warfare. Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight for your life? Then this is a platform to fight. It says by them. By them. By them. In other words, a prophetic word to you is a weapon of war. A prophetic word to you is a weapon of war. When somebody speaks a prophetic word to you, you catch it. Oh, you heard that there was a prophetic word upon your life. You hold it and you run. Someone like me, apart from the scripture, I have held the word. I have held the word. In my mother's womb, they have said, this child, she's going to be this. She's going to be that. She's going to be this. She's going to be described my complexion. And see, this is the face. This is what she's going to look like, just to show you a sign. And then she's going to be this. And she's going to be that. And then sometime last, like a few months ago, I called my mom and I said, just remind me of that prophecy again. You know why? I was trying to sharpen my weapon of war. I was trying to, I wanted to hear them again so I can get that, that picture of again until I have undoed everything. It's not enough to just come out in the completion. They said you will come out. You come out in the, this thing. You came out and then you are doing. My, my, my mom said, ah, you already did there. I said, me, dear. Did you hear what they said? I was trying to sharpen. I said, tell me again. Early morning, I just dropped my kids in school. I was going, coming back when I called her. I said, you remember that prophecy? She said, what happened this early morning like how are you calling me i i was worrying a, a war and i needed a weapon and that prophetic word for me was a weapon i needed to hold it and say this is the word of the lord he says by them thou mightest war and you are going to war a good warfare that means there is a bad warfare that means there is a bad warfare 
there is a bad warfare by war we mean that we have a, we are we are contending to old to old for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and power against rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places if you read the previous verse in that Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 if you read 11 10 9 and all of that the previous verse and then you read after verse 12 you realize that in all of those war, it is not us trying to war with the devil. The devil is actually the one warring with us. Do you know why? This is why. Lambano means that you are received something or you're going to receive something. And then the devil comes. If you read the entire scripture, in that especially, in that Ephesians 6, you would see that everything it was explaining is that somebody is going to come. So get, get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. So this is what it is. You hold that thing and you hold it like this. How many of you know rugby ball here? I don't even any Anybody heard of rugby? I, huh? American football. You know those balls? They hold like this. I grew up seeing my mom play it. <laughs> I don't know. I just... That woman is a superwoman. Amen. I, you know, and you will hold it. And you, you, you hold it. You lambano it. So what you do is that you make sure that nobody takes it from you. It's not this one where I'm learning. Kling, kling, kling. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. Praise God. And then you pass it here. You pass it here. No. Whenever I happen to watch that ball, I am, remember, I am reminded of lambano. You hold it. And then the, hold it. Hold it. And then the person, the adverse with the devil, this is what he's trying to do. He's trying to take it. And then you have, because you have laid hold of it. You have laid hold of it. And the reason why you need to get yourself with an ailment, with a, with a breastplate, with all of those things that you need to, is so that in case it goes like this, so that you release this one, you say, no, <laughs> it's covered. In case you do like this, have you ever tried to fight it with your younger one? And then they begin to tickle you. Ever. Have you ever? Because they, know they don't even have that power. So they just, to weaken you. And some like are very sensitive. So you just do that. Uh, I just release it. That's what the devil does to a lot of us. He just tickles us. A little bit. A little bit. But this is what the devil also do. He creates another warfare somewhere. And he makes you begin to fight it so that you can release this one. Since we are very intentional about fighting the devil, it doesn't mean we should not fight the devil. But come on now. The devil is the one fighting us because we have what the devil needs. We have what the devil needs. We have what the devil needs. And so he is the one trying to fight us. If you let go of what you are holding, what you have lambano, one way to lambano prophecies is to know knowledge is key to laying hold of any reality is key to laying hold of any reality. Anything you have. Whatever you don't know, you cannot own. Whatever you do not know, you cannot own. Sight, for example, is not done with our eyes. It's done with our brains. Now, oh, Shadak, how are you? We are Lambanoing. Amen. Come on, let's look here. I want to give you your prophecy. Your word of prophecy. I want to give you all that the Lord has placed for you. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? What if there are options? How would you know? How would you know which to take? If you don't know. If, come on, knowing first is knowing that it is available. And then secondly, knowing what is available. What you are lambanoing for, what is available? What is the thing I want to take hold of? What is the thing I want to take hold of? So he says, because we did not know. And the first thing that Paul began to do was to teach them to know was to teach them to know. And this is what you are, you are doing here. We are doing here tonight. I'm teaching you to know 
that there's prophecies over you. I'm teaching you to know that there is something that you need to receive that has been provided for you. And this is what you would also go home and say, Lord, teach me to know. Can you in, in, in 30 seconds say, it? say, Lord, teach me to know. Lord, teach me to know. Teach me to know. Knowledge. In Daniel chapter 9. Daniel chapter 9, quickly. Daniel chapter 9, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years. I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet. Are you there? Are you following? That he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. No. He says, I, Daniel, did what? Have, have I lost you? Are you still here? I, Daniel, did what? Understood by books. Understood by books. Daniel understood by books. So you have to have relevant knowledge for the, for the prophetic word over you. For the prophetic word over you. You can't receive what you don't understand. If Daniel had not understood by books, probably the children of the Israelites would still be captured. They would have stayed longer in captivity. But there was a man who came and he understood. You need knowledge. Tell your neighbor you need knowledge. You lambano with knowledge. You need knowledge of the word of God. You need knowledge of the will of God. You need knowledge. You need knowledge. You need to gather these things. What has the Lord said? What is he saying now? And what will he say? What has the Lord said? What is he saying now? And what, the, what will he say? You know what the Lord has said by reading up the Bible, history, church history and all of that. You know what he's saying now by his spirit. So you can read the same thing he has said before and you know from that word what he's saying now. And you know what he will say by his person. By relationship. So when somebody says God says you know that this is not the Lord. The sentiment, relationship, all of it, you know that this is not the Lord. Lack of knowledge can keep you praying about what already belongs to you. Lack of knowledge. If a word has gone ahead of you, that you begin to function in, in massive ways and all of that, get the relevant knowledge for it. A man of God said something last week that, that, that caught my attention. He said, devil feast on your ignorance. The devil feasts on your ignorance. Knowledge fuels your understanding and your understanding equips your prayer. Knowledge fuels, fuels your understanding and your understanding equips your prayer. God doesn't just address things solely by prayers, but with knowledge. It says, my people perish because of lack of prayers. My people perish because of lack of giving. My people perish because of lack of what? Because of lack of knowledge. Because of lack of knowledge. Are you listening? Are you here? Glory to God. This weather is a weather of prayer. Who, who accepts? Who knows that? This is a weather of prayer. If you are praying under this atmosphere, nobody will hear you. Ah, I like it. <laughs> because you are not disturbing anybody. After all, the rain is disturbing everybody. You just stay somewhere and you are praying loud as you should. This is a Lambano atmosphere. It is a Lambano atmosphere. Glory to God. It says he understood by books. Acts 17 verse 11 shows us about the Berean Christians. It says, we read about the Christians and it said they received the Lambanoj. Somebody say Lambanoj. They Lambanoj the word with readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. And then we saw the result of it in verse 12. It says, therefore, many of them believed. Therefore, many of them believed. Your study, your knowledge enhances your belief. 
your study and your knowledge enhances your belief. He says the Berean Christians lambanot the word. They received the word. And what happened to them? He says they went daily and they were searching the scripture. So as you are receiving it, one of the ways to keep lambano in is that you are searching the scriptures. And as you are searching the scriptures, your belief is being heightened. He said, and then many of them believe, men and women, the Jews, the Gentiles, they believed. Tell somebody, get knowledge. Get knowledge. Don't run to a 40 days fast without knowledge. Knowledge gives direction to prayer. Knowledge gives direction to prayer. Don't run into a fast without having knowledge. Get knowledge. Get knowledge. Another way to Lambano prophecies is discernment of seasons. Descendment of seasons. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32 told us about the sons of Issachar who had understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Descendment of season. Knowing that this is a time. God does not work with our calendar and our clock, it works with season. He works with seasons. I was talking with a friend, friend recently and he said something that he tweaked in, that tweet, you know, that caught my attention. I was talking about the labor of people in ministry and all of that and he said scripture says seed time and harvest will not cease seed time and harvest he didn't say seed time and harvest time because when it comes to seed there is a time but when it comes to harvest it's a season he didn't say seed time and harvest time he says seed time and harvest because it's not regulated by oh, who is getting what i'm saying it's not regulated you plant cassava in rainy season. You are put it in dry season. You are put it in rainy season. How many of you have? <laughs> but in dry season and rainy season, there is harvest. But there is a time to plant. But there is no time to harvest. Because your harvest keeps. If you leave the cassava there, it gets bigger. Ah, am I talking to farmers? It gets bigger. Seek time and harvest. Ah, yeah. Seasons. There are seasons when you discern it. You say, Kashato, brother. You are intrigued to Lambano the more. Because you know this is a season of your rising. This is a season of your rising. There are times when you keep labor. You say, the labor of fools wearies them. The labor of fools wearies them. And I will tell you that it is not just because they don't know the way to the city. It's that they don't know the time. They do not understand times and seasons. They don't understand times and seasons. When you plant when you need to plant, it is easier than when you plant when you don't need to plant. Season. So you look by discernment and you say, Lord, what is happening to my life right now? What am I supposed to lambano for? What am I supposed to hold on for? Many of us, we just pray. We pray. We pray. Yaga, yaga, yaga. We pray for anything. But there are times when you know that this thing is about to come. And you say, Lord, this is it. This is it. And you hold on. And you hold on. Our man of God taught us the other, the other, that some time ago about, uh, about persistence in prayer. Right. Uh, what, 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 what was that topic? About persistence in prayer. A uh, prevailing prayer. Prevailing prayer. You know you know that there is, a, there is a season coming upon me. There are signs. You are seeing the signs. You are seeing the signs. Do you know that the that devil also makes use of these seasons and time? Devil is not omniscient. He's not omniscient. He does not know it all. He's not omniscient. Oh, I hope you know. Devil does not know. What the devil does is that he hangs around and he begins to look at the signs and symptoms around you that shows that you are about to enter, enter another realm. And then he begins to bring temptation that would. He begins to. This, if the devil can use it, then you can use it. You say, Lord, what season of my life is this? And you're not talking about your biological clock. Because when we do a season, most times we're just thinking about our biological clock so okay you just finished from school sometimes your season that's your kairos moment may rhyme with your biological chronos sometimes it may not rhyme so there are times when you finish school and the next thing is not to get a job i was telling somebody the other day i think day before yesterday she's crying and you just finished school is it up to six months ago no and she's crying and crying and crying and saying relax have you asked the lord have you inquired of the lord 
what is it about my season now or because they just told you that when you finish school the next thing is a job and so when you don't get the job you begin to cry you begin to feel depressed what do the, does the lord want you to do what if the lord wants you to go back to where you came from to go there and just keep serving him keep doing small small things what if the lord wants you to do those things so you are asking lord so that you won't waste your prayers and you won't make it seem like god does not answer prayers are you getting what i am saying you won't make it seem like god does not answer prayers and then you hold that word and you lambano the next way I'm, i've lost count just put it any number you were putting on your book to lambano prophecies is by preparation somebody said preparation preparation and performance preparation and performance you need to prepare for what the prophecy is delivering to you if a prophetic word has gone ahead of you concerning a job go and get after you get knowledge go and prepare your cv are you getting me say you i see you i see you flying i see you flying around are you getting what i'm saying i see you flying around i see you blessing lives you don't have a passport you don't have a visa you don't have anything then you stay in the place of prayer i lambano i lambano you are not lambanoing one of the signs that you are lambanoing you're trying to hold lay hold of it is that you prepare a visa you go and do you get a passport you do all the necessary documents make sure that they are on ground if you are expecting money from overseas make sure that you have a dollar account is it not I see you. You are getting married next week. Throughout that week, oh, I see you. You will meet your spouse next week. Amen. You will meet your spouse next week. Amen. Throughout that week, you are not in the mood to go out. See, the way devil attacks us is small. It's in small, small things. You will think that. In a, do you get? What we are thinking is that we just see a rushing mighty wind come. Ooh, and you say, you devil. Come, 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 come. You devil. No. It will just come and twitch your mood. He said, no, you know I'm melancholy. That's what my mood is. So that I just feel like not going out. So you just stay inside your house. And you were shouting, amen, amen. You meet your spouse next week, amen. Then, this is what devil does. So he's playing with you. He's tickling you. Do you understand tickling now? He's tickling you. Watch you. The prophecy you have held on to, you are releasing it. On Monday, the hand has released a little. On Tuesday, it's still tickling you. You are still not in the mood. You will drag your face and let me go and bed. Let me know. I know what I'm saying because I am the last person who wants to go out. <laughs> I am the last person who wants to prepare and go out. Like, prepare, bed. But I, I don't want to. So I know when sometimes going out is you lambanoing. <laughs> because when we say lambano, we are not just talking about prayers. We are talking, talking about laying out. Sometimes you know that, see, I need to go out in order to lay out on God's prophecy over my life. Say, so you are called to preach. You are called to preach. So no, I'm a shy person. I like to do work on the ground. It's fine. We celebrate grace. But what happened to you is that you have lost what the Lord has placed. Are you getting what I'm saying? On your head. So when you're not in the mood for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, remember the prophetic word said which week? Are you there? The prophetic word said what? So let's say this week, if I said this week, you would receive your spouse. Meaning from now to Sunday, isn't it? Then from now to Sunday, the only day that you finally received strength to go out was on Sunday. Then you come to church and say, Lord, praise the Lord. <laughs> For one week straight, I was not healthy. For one week straight, I didn't even, I don't know what's wrong with me. I didn't have the, I was not in the mood to go out and all of that. But bless God, this morning I came to the encounter. We will celebrate you. Praise the Lord. This morning you came to the encounter. A guy, you came to the encounter, but on Saturday your prophetic, your prophetic word expired. It expired on Saturday. On Sunday you receive strength. You think it's something to give testimony about. You think it's something to give testimony about? You're not in the mood. Get out. 
the devil fights you the most in the place where your prophetic destiny is fights you the most it makes sure that as a victor you become the victim in the place where your prophetic destiny is and on the days where you are supposed to hold on when you wake up in the morning and people say when you wake up in the morning and foul begin pursue you may you know say foul don't go to it overnight are you getting what i'm saying normally chicken should not pursue anybody but just know that something this is not an ordinary chicken when you wake up what and you see you turn left wahala you turn right wahala there's something the devil wants to lay hold of so you lambano the devil is chuckling it and you you drag it you say you see you see today we live here <laughs> you see today whatever you want to collect i don't know what it is but i owed it but i owed it are you getting what i'm saying but i owed it preparation 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 precedes performance and includes performance i'll tell you why i said so preparation does what precedes performance and include performance this is why i said so it precedes performance that means that you need to prepare before you perform but if you don't write includes performance, a lot of people have been laid down by the devil in the name of preparation. So preparation precedes performance and includes performance. That means keep preparing while you are performing. Don't wait until you are done perform preparing before you begin to perform. While you are in that stage of preparation, start performing. Include it. You get better while doing it. You are afraid. Go. Do it afraid. Do it afraid. You are shy. Go. Do it shy. You don't have the money. Go. Do it without it. And see. So prepare. If you want to lambano, you prepare before you perform. And you prepare while you perform. You lambano. You don't let anything bring you down. You don't let anything bring you down. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You receive it by faith. Oh, Rahash Kenos Kambenetai. You lambano by faith. You lambano by faith. By faith. Mm. By faith. Believe. You must believe. Because whatever you believe, you receive. You must believe. The woman with the issue of blood said, if only I would just touch the elm of his garment, I know that I shall be made whole. That woman was such a strong woman for 12 years. I think that was enough for someone to lose. Right? Someone to let go. How long have you, have you, how long have you been going through what you were going through? How long? 12 years. And she knew that if I could just but touch the hem of his garment. But the soldiers on the cross, they literally took the garment of Jesus and nothing happened to them. The difference, the difference between the woman and the soldier was not the clothes, it was the belief. It was the belief. I shall be made whole. I shall be made whole. The belief. Somebody said to me some time ago, and she came and she asked me for water the water i had drunk and i gave her the water and she used it to do mighty things miraculous things when she was sharing that with us it's water oh. we had encountered some 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 time ago when a brother came to me and said you know his mother is sick down this and that. i think she stepped on poison and her leg is swollen and it's all gone and I prayed for the mother. I, I was drinking water and I just prayed for the water. And I said, take the water. When you get home, just give it to her. Let her drink it. Let her use it to wash wherever it is. And the next day, she woke up. Actually, he said immediately the pain stopped. And then, but because healing takes process, the next day, the leg was all 
gone and since then till now she is fine why is it the water it's nothing about the water it's about the belief do you know how many people i drink water and give by now if you think that the power is in the man of god's clothes you know have you gone to crusade where everybody's struggling the man of god the, the, the you just be moving wow and then you take it what about his dry cleaner what about his wife his wife should be full of power <laughs> just because are you getting what i'm saying just because pastor if he was sharing how our how, how man of God sat on a seat in, in, in the car and when he dropped us, he went and sat on that seat and said, Lord, whatever again. And, and the Lord imparted him and he began to have experience. He began to have, you know, uh, 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 began to see things because he sat in the place our man of God was sitting. Guy, do you know how many people are sitting where our man of God is sitting? Have you never sat where our man of God sat? What happened to you? What happened to you? So when he sleeps, I will go and carry him. I push him to one side of the bed and lie down on the same bed where he's sleeping. And then, you know, and all of that. If I do that with belief, it will work for me. But it doesn't mean that there is something about the bed. Thy faith has made you whole. Your faith. Your faith. What do you believe? What do you believe? Somebody called me sometime last me, and she was crying and crying and crying and crying. Relax, let me hear you. <laughs> uh, calm down. What is the problem? And she said, this, 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 this. And I said, okay. And then she said something that triggered me. She said, I just knew that if I called you, it settled. Ah, how did somebody believe like this? <laughs> I just know that if I call you, it is said to I missed that chairs. I missed the everything. He said, if I just knew that if I called you, it, it is said to I said, let it be done unto you according to your faith, according to your belief. In the name of Jesus, it ceases. And she called me in the next 30 minutes. Everything done. The people, it was different cases. Oh, Rabbi Shata Kavaya. Just that. Different cases. She she, her mother was in the hospital and she had gone to, to, to you know, meet the mother in the hospital and then, you know, and all of that and they were trying to, and the mother was not conscious and all of that and she herself coming from the hospital, her chest began to, and she was losing breath so as at when she was calling me, she was losing breath, she could not walk, she couldn't even as much as stand up to go to the hospital where her mother was and she said, I knew that if I just call you and in 30 minutes time she was working her chest was fine. Her mother, the doctor said, you know what, would have just said you people should just leave. But since you have paid for today, just stay. Let her just relax to the end. The next, very next day in the morning, they released her from the hospital. Faith. I am sharing this not because I want to tell you stories. I'm sharing this because somebody is here right now and saying, if she can just talk about my case, I know somebody is here right now and saying lord what of me i decree upon your life wherever you are seated whatever it is that you are struggling with all i need you to do right now i'm not going to be laying hands on you because you will lambano because you would receive it wherever you are right now receive your healing in the name of jesus Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody says, I've been, I've been urinating. I've been urinating. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the with, 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 with issue of, of urine as an adult. You are struggling with the issue of urine. In the name of Jesus, it is cost. And it is cost. It is cost. See. If we follow medical science and white men and all of that, they are doing well, but they will always give a name for everything. Go to the, there is nobody that doesn't, if you go to the hospital today, as healthy as you are, and you go for checkup, they will find something in your body. Something will, there is something in your body. They will give it a name. But we don't care about the name. You say all kinds of diseases. All kinds. The Bible did not need to go through the names. He say all kinds. Put them all in one category whatever is a source of embarrassment to you as an adult 
Mount Odo. Whatever it is, in the name of Jesus right now, let the healing power of the Lord come upon you. Once I pray, you say, I receive it because we are receiving things today. I say, let the healing power come upon you. Let it come upon you. In the name of Jesus. I hear the word blocked head. No matter how you read, it's not entering. You're becoming, you're becoming stranded. You are beating, you are beating. This is you that used to do mighty things before. But somehow, you had a season in your life. Your head just went block. I don't know who is that right now. Haraposa. Benekundera hashkina televizo. Baten hai kumbena tatevelesi zazavina kabaya. In the name of Jesus. Haya kapara to shende karasos ke mandera bashatayata. I command your brain to be released right now. In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance right now. Receive your freedom right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who is ready to receive more things? Who is ready to receive more things? Who is ready to receive more things? Wherever you are, whatever is your case, can you begin to decree and say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. Mention that case and say, this thing, I receive it. Mention that case and say, I receive it. Mention it and say, I receive it. I just, I just felt like stopping whatever I'm saying. Because the lie, the water is being shared right now. It's being shared right now. It's being shared right now. It's time. Say Mention that case and say, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I lambano. I lay hold of it. I lay hold of it. I lay hold of it. I receive it. I receive it. I lay hold of it. I receive it. As you are receiving it, I have a picture of it. I have a picture of it. Are you seeing yourself there? Are you seeing yourself there? I have a picture and receive it. I have a picture and receive it. Say I receive it. Pray. Like you mean it. Every time you know this is, is being a kosha. Healed right now. Nightmares. Shouting every night. Shouting every night. You're shouting every night. You lie down to sleep. It's as if you are falling into a ditch. You lie down to sleep every time. It's as though you are falling into a ditch. I hold your hand right now. And I release you right now. Every time, in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who that person is. That for the past two to three months, right now, you've been having dreams of somebody sleeping with you. You don't need to stand up. Wherever you are, the power of the Most High would overshadow you right now. And the power of God cannot overshadow someone and a man overshadows him. God cannot share. Do you get? God doesn't share. So there is a power of God that would overshadow you right now. Azandi, Herosko, Batatata. Somebody is coming to, to, to touch you anyhow in the dream. Touch you, sleep with you anyhow. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's father is acting as though he's losing his mind. He's forgetting things anyhow. He's speaking anyhow. He's acting as though he's losing his mind and you guys are scared. And you guys are scared. I don't know who the person is. I, I would love for you to, to, to I, I want to lay hands on you. I want to lay hands on you so you receive it. If you're that person, come on. Is it both of you? In the name of Jesus, 
Ratata, I was sending the healing power of the Lord to your father right now, and you would receive it. Is that okay? Masheko prante kasusi atata. Every spirit of insanity, every spirit of insanity, every spirit of outside mindedness, every spirit that says whatever is whatever. I don't care about the name they give it, but in the name of Jesus. that has been shot take your healing in the name of Jesus wherever he is he's healed wherever he is he's healed soundness of mind for the Lord has not given him the spirit of fear but a spirit of love and of power of sound mind and of love and of power of sound mind soundness of mind soundness of mind he at all seco parata look up everyone I would ask you like Apostle Paul asked the church, have you received it? Have you received your healing? Have you received your deliverance? Have you received your open doors? It is provided for you. Have you received it? Can you say it like you have received it? Have you received it? Have you received it? Oh, Shante Kapapa Yashata. Zeko papara te kondesh ke de bia zayan de rebe ko shata aya step out are you getting what i'm saying step out i don't know what the word is for someone step out you say you have received the gift of healing don't wait for where you are step out begin to lay hands on people the prophetic step out step out open your mouth and the lord will feel it as I'm speaking right now, I see the pro prophetic coming upon someone right now. I see the prophetic coming upon three people. Three people, three people. Angels of heaven, let them begin to work. The spirit of prophecy is being activated in the life of someone right now. Can you lambano it? Can you lambano it? Can you lambano it? Can you lay hold of it? Zata Tasha at a count of five, it will hit you like a mighty wind. It will hit you at a count of five. Mashote Kosia, one at a count of five, two at a count of five, three at a count of five, four, five in the name of Jesus. Take it, take it, take it. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. It's left with two people. Two more people. Two more people. Two more people. Two more people. The anointing of the Lord is coming upon you right now. Have you received it? Receive it. 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 Receive it.
It is yours. Let your glory. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. Like fire. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. Ashuzi barikubia ili bidi kuini bina manasha tata ashuzi bira ba na ba na na ba na 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 ba na 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 ba na ashopri anima na ibili kuisi mili ana malika ashopri ili kuini bina ari bili kuti malika ina ba na ba na in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, somebody has been losing things. You have been losing things physically. You pray, you see in your dreams that you are losing things, and physically you are losing it. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. The devil wants to snatch something from you, but right now, <laughs> right now, we are snatching it back. You know the word for snatching it out is called katalambano. Katalambano. Radoko protosketaya. Meanwhile, you are holding something and for any reason you lost it. You katalambano. You receive it back. He says, I would restore the yes that the can the caterpillars, the palmer worms, all of them have eaten. He said, I will restore. He didn't say I will restore the crops, not the things, the yes, not the things, the yes. I would restore them. Everything you have lost, you are losing now and you have lost in time past. It's time to lambano them. Kata lambano. Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. Ye ye ko siya ta ta ta. Rete te pe 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh! Ah! It's time for what? Hallelujah! 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 Oh! Ah! Hallelujah! 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 Ali ali o, 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 ali 
Listen, you will learn and you will pray. In whatever position you are in, just keep standing. Rebecca, you lambano eternal life. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. He says, fight the good fight of faith. He says, lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and confess the good confession in the presence of the witness. Eternal life is an eternal promise. Yeah, Coco. Eternal life is something that you need to lay hold of. Eternal life is something that you have to lambano. If not, you will lose it. Are you getting what I am saying? If not, you will lose it. Now, this is the fight. The fight while you are fighting is a good fight and it is the fight of faith. I felt like not leaving this out because somebody here, your fight is not for things, it is for your faith. Your fight is not for things, it is for your belief. It is that you are my son will come to me, and when I tell him, Your name is not so way, your name is Atu. He says, No, my name is so way. I said, No, my your name is not so way. Your name is is, is a maker. He says, No, my name is so way. Why? Because he understands that see, this is my name, nobody can take it from me. But this is what the devil is doing to some of you. What he's doing to some of you is that he comes and tells you what you are not. And you accept it. He comes and he points things along your face. He says to hold on to eternal life. Eternal life has to be held on to. You lambano for eternal life. You are holding on your eternal life like this. And you're saying, you know what? Devil, do your best. Devil, do your worst. Satan, do your devil, do your you are saying, Satan, do your best, do your worst, do your worst. I will not give up on eternal life. Is there anything that is causing, wanting to cause you to compromise your faith? Wanting to cause you, is it a girl? Is it a guy? Is it something? Whatever it is that wants to cause you to release eternal life. Scripture says to lay hold of it. Lambano. Right now you are going to be lambanoing for eternal life. I am holding on to my convictions. I am not letting it go. No matter what comes my way, I am holding it. I am holding it. Wherever you are, can you begin to pray? Alio! 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 Ali, ali! I am not letting it go. Money will not cease, will not make it make me lose it. Academics will not make me lose it. No lecturer will make me lose it. No lecturer will make me lose it. No man or woman will make me lose it. I can't tell you, Bano. I love Bano for what I have received. I love Bano for my identity. Problems will not let me lose it. Problems will not let me lose it. Troubles will not let me lose it. Nothing will make me lose it. Lambano, 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 Lambano. Where are you? Come on, Lambano. Eros. Just be in your seat. Ali Ali yo. 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 Yo yo. Ali Ali yo. Ali yo. Ali yo. Ali Ali yo. Oh. 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 Oh.
warrior. It is a cry of a warrior. Somebody who is not okay. Who rasende karafish kita taski natai? I lambano and I kata lambano. Yero hoskish kahavi natate rababande. I receive all that is mine, and I go and take all that has been taken from me, and I receive them again. Harosh kunatata. Somebody wants to give up. You want to give up when you can lambano. Why do you want to give up when you can lambano? Why do you want to throw in the towel when you can lambano? Erosana urukubunosa etayatos adio. about your conviction look up look up you see the conviction that you have received nothing must take it away from you are you getting what I'm saying what you have believed you must lay hold of it nothing must snatch it from you no man is no man is is, 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 is that powerful to snatch what the Lord has given to me. Here I have said to stay up. I have believed. I have believed. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I believe in righteous living. I believe in holiness. I believe in truth. I will believe. Don't let anybody. This is what the devil did in the Garden of Eden. He came and he tried. He tried to. Eh? Did God really say? Did God really say? He did that to Eve. It worked. He thought he could do that to Jesus. He thought he could do that to Jesus. But Jesus cut a lamb out. He held on to what he had believed. And he fought the good fight of faith. What for what? You bring the word. I bring the word. Whatever you bring, he, he fought. He fought. He fought. I don't know who is that person that has been hearing voices in her head. You've been hearing strange voice in your head telling you this is what you should do this is what you should do telling you negative things to do i shot that voice right now no voice no voice here has come to you lambano grace these are the two things we are ending now because there is a way i want us to end <laughs> you know why because i have seen this meeting you know, we talked about seeing. We talked about seeing. I have seen this meeting and I know how it should end. So until it ends that way, you lambano grace. You lambano grace. Romans chapter 5 verse 7 says, For if by one man's offense, death reigned through the one, much more those who believe abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. The word therefore believe. Funny enough, that was the same word. For received say for all those who have received abundance of grace the same way that one man spread because of one man people received sin that's one man people will receive grace and the apostle did not just say they receive grace they say it if they receive what fullness abundance of grace abundance of grace abundance of grace grace is something you have to lambano for there are certain times that temptations come your way there are certain th times that things are not going the way they ought to you are not you are not you are not strong you are not strong you are not strong are you getting what i'm saying there is a kind of man you need to be in the spirit there's a kind of woman he's a woman of strength he's a woman of he's a woman of strength where you are and, and, and that strength would only be gotten in the place of lambano it's in the place where you are receiving that strength you are receiving it in the place of prayer he said anything that you ask you would receive and then you lambano by the spirit somebody say by the spirit you know why this 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 is very interesting it's very interesting because you lambano by the spirit 
and then the spirit lambano is on you. <laughs> did, you did you get what I just said? You lambano by the spirit, and then the spirit lambano is on you. Let me let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. Uh, um um. John chapter 1 verse 16, it says that the fullness we have received grace unto grace, the fullness of the Spirit, and by the Spirit, right, John chapter 20 verse 22, and when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, what did he say to them? Receive <laughs> the Holy Spirit. If you forgive sins or anyone, it shall be forgiving of them. If you retain sin, it will be retained. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bind the never whatever you lose on earth is an authority signature it's an authority signature it's an authority signature you lambano and when you lambano by the spirit what happens to you is that you begin to release weakness weakness begins to leave your body weakness begin to leave your body say likewise the spirit help it our infirmity help it our infirmity and another funny thing is that the word help there did not mean numa like the helper the comforter it didn't mean the helper when it comes to the, it, the help there in that particular scripture meant that the spirit will lambano on us that's why I said you lambano by the spirit and the spirit lambano. Meaning, meaning that the spirit, what happens to you when you begin to speak in the spirit is that you, the spirit lays hold of you. He lays hold of you and he refuses to release you. Ah, How many of you want the spirit to lay hold on you right now? How many of you want the spirit to lay hold on you? The spirit lambanos on you. He lays hold on you. He refuses to lose grip. Who can snatch you away from a spirit from the spirit's hand? Tell me, tell me. When the spirit is laying hold on you, who can snatch you away? What can snatch you away? And that's why I said, what can separate us from the love of God? What can separate us? Rahasushki parate. You lambano. And the spirit lambano is on you. That word means. And then it's a, it's a different kind of lambano. It's called the Sunan lambano. <laughs> It's called the Sunan Lambano because it's happening from a superior. Because the Holy Spirit is the one. This time you are not you are not all laying old. You are not laying old. You're using him or through him. He's the one. He's the one holding your hands and saying, you know what, this one, I refuse to let this one go. I refuse to let this one go. I refuse to let this one go. So that word denotes superiority and it also denotes partnership. It denotes superiority and it denotes partnership in the sense that he says, I'm laying hold of you. Let's hold ourselves together and let's go. So when you get to that place, to that place of Sunan Labano, what happens to you is that you, it is no, that is where you get to a place where you say, it is no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. Because there is a spirit holding my hands and working with me. Because anything I say, it is not me any longer. Because anything I do, it is not me any longer it is in that place where people be, people are operating in the spirit of wisdom but you have moved to a place where you become the wisdom of God do you understand that the spirit of wisdom is that the, you, you, the spirit comes upon you and you begin to speak wisdom but there is a place where you become an epitome of the wisdom of God that even when you are joking is wisdom is wisdom it is that place where you can walk in the spirit of the prophetic, the spirit of prophecy, and that place where you now move to an office of the prophet. That even when you are joking, is a prophecy. Even when you refuse to see, it's a prophecy. It is that place where you begin to move. You are moving. You are shifting in the spirit. You are shifting in the spirit. Why? Because you are going on the pace of the spirit. You are going on the pace of the spirit. In this realm, I am telling you about there is no it is it is only but speed there is no delay are you getting what i'm saying in this place i am telling you about there is no delay i needed you to come to this place because there's something i know that the spirit wants to do with you right now i know there is there's something the spirit wants to do with you he wants to hold you and run with you and run with you she had say there is no there is no delay of any of any kind it's a place of speed it's a place of speed. It's a place of reasoning together with God. It's a place of working together with God. Sunan Lambano. It is in that place you receive strength to prevail. It is in that place you receive strength to, to, to push in. 
it is in that place you receive strength to con conceive and you don't just receive strength to conceive you don't just receive strength to continue. He says, do not worry, for the spirit of the Lord shall overshadow her. Why? 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 There's an when the spirit of the Lord overshadows you. Ah, yakaparata. He doesn't just give you, he doesn't just give you the seed, he gives you the ability to push the seed. Do you understand? He said, forget about it. The spirit of the Lord overshadowed. The Holy Spirit does not just overshadow to put a seed inside of you and leave you. He gives you the ability. Stress, stress, stress. When it is by the spirit, it is it, when it is by the spirit, it is sponsored of the spirit. It is sponsored of the spirit. It says by faith, Sarah. Sarah. She didn't just conceive. At her age, she should not be able to push. There was no C session. There was no C session. At her age, she shouldn't be able to. But because the childhood was born of the Spirit, which was a child of prophecy, he said about Mary, he said about all of these people, this is the place I want you to get to. Where you lambano for things. You lambano for your faith. You lambano for your possessions. You lambano for your prophecy. You lambano for materials. At times, we do not permit us to talk about Jesus. He held the bread. And as he, he held the bread, scripture says, and Jesus received the bread. And he held it and blessed, raised it high and blessed it and broke it. What happens is that he lambanoed. Before Jesus blessed it, there was a lambanoing. He received it. He received it. So sometimes we can look at the blessing and say, ah, how come he blessed it? and then there was a multiplication no yes sometimes the blessings can come with the multiplication but what happened in that scripture was lambano there was a lambano on the bread before there was a blessing of the bread um when jesus blessed the bread it multiplied and he fed thousands of people hundreds of people until there were 12 baskets left it is that place of multiplication so you can lambano for multiplication you look at something and it's small and you lambano and you lambano lord i receive this i receive this i take i take i take what is not seen i take i take what is not seen and then after you have lambanoed for all of these things you now get to the place of the spirit you say you know what holy spirit i lambano with you and i release myself for you to lambano on me for you to lambano on me lay hold of me and don't let me go that is that place we are ending today you will say lord lay hold on me and don't let me go we can be so if you don't if you don't end on this note you will live your life lambanoing for other things until you lose the spirit lay hold on me and don't let me go wherever you are right now can you now begin and say lay your hands upon me lay your hands on me lay your hands on me oh lord i need your era hashki papaya lay your hands upon me there's going to be a breakout of the spirit lay your hands on me pray out to the holy ghost Lay your hands on me, oh Lord, I need your hands, I need your hands, I need your hands, lay your hands upon me, can you cry out to God now, and say, Lord, I am too weak, I am too weak, I need your tsunami, I am too weak to be able to lay hold, lay hold on me so I can lay hold on other things. Lay I am too weak. I am too weak. I am filled with weaknesses. I am filled with weakness. Lay your hands upon me, Lord. Lay your hands upon me, Lord. Lay your hands upon me, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Lay your hands upon me, Lord. Lay your hands who wants to be particular about this prayer? If the Holy Spirit lay hands on you, you cannot be blind. You cannot be blind. Lay your hands upon me. Lay your hands on me. Lay your hands on me. Oh Lord, I need your touch. When you are here. When you are here, when, when you are, you are here, here, 
when you are here 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 i feel a strong atmosphere when you are here i feel a very strong atmosphere when you are here
not letting go of it in a hurry. Because you and I, you and I will do mighty things. You and I will do mighty things. Come and talk to God wherever you are. For the outpourings of your spirit, that this you have planted will bring forth fruit. Families will harvest from them. Nations will harvest from them. In the name of Jesus. Even after this meeting, you will reveal yourself more. That the spirit of faith who envelop our hearts. Thank you, Father. For Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Let's celebrate Jesus for this wonderful song. If you are blessed, celebrate Jesus.